If you would like to support the channel, then please turn off adblock and refresh the page. Alternatively, use the link in the description below to donate to T1 Patreon. Thank you. Hello Magic Community on YouTube, I'm T1 Glistener Elf, here with T1 Stoneforge Mystic again. T1 Baby Bear, except she's not wearing her baby bear cap. Alright, just doing a quick walk and talk while I have her. I want to discuss what I think is the number one mistake that Infect pilots make. If you're just starting to play Infect, you may fall into this trap more often than you think. And this is even going to make me sound a little bit hypocritical, just a little bit. That mistake is playing the turn one Glistener Elf. I know, I'm T1 Glistener Elf for a reason, but you don't want to play the T1 Glistener Elf all that often. Yeah, sometimes you have to, but here's why. For one thing, the most played card in the format is Lightning Bolt. Path to Exile is a top five, definitely, top three, I think, card in the format as well. Card, in modern, that is. This is true for any format, but especially modern, by the way. So you play your Glistener Elf on turn one, and you can't protect it. And then it dies to Lightning Bolt, or dies to Path to Exile, or whatever the case may be. In Legacy, you can play Force of Will, that is true. That can get you out of it, and in fact that can be used to draw, you know, to bait out removal from your opponent. But in Modern, if you just run out the turn one Glistener Elf, it's probably dead. In so many decks, they have a way to get rid of it on turn one. Whether you're on the play or on the draw, but especially on the draw, it's important to not play the T1 Glistener Elf unless you have to. There are a few exceptions. One, like I said, unless you have to, you're playing a deck that races so quickly that you don't really have much of a choice. Um, and you know that. If you're playing against removal light decks, like Ad Nauseam, there's not much that they can do about it. Race it out, obviously. This is why so many Infect decks are running Gitaxian Probe, even if they don't have blue. It's because they want that information. That's the second reason, by the way. You might want to play the T1 Glistener Elf. And that is, if you have the knowledge that you definitely can play it. You know you're safe. If you look at their hand and there's no lightning bolt, no path, nothing like that, then yeah, that's one thing. You can run it out. I love you. If you happen to be playing a version that has spell pierce, you know, that can also tell you to hold back don't play the T1 Glistener Elf, hold up the Spell Pierce instead. Or Dispel, or whatever the case may be. Um, I don't see Dispel too much in the main board. I have played with Spell Pierce before, and I know sometimes that is played in Modern, in the main deck for Infect, just to give some generic protection. Alright, well, that's it. Usually the way that you want to do it, of course, is wait until you have enough mana to Hold up Vines of Vastwood, Apostle's Blessing, any of your pump spells, <laughs> Ranger's Guile, whatever the case may be. Ooh, honey. Dicko Monster. <laughs> Kissy Monster. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, you're tired, aren't you? <laughs> She loves me for a reason. I make you smile. I make you smile. <laughs> yeah. Can you say boots? Can you say cookie? <laughs> All right. We'll see you later. Get that wave in. All right. Say bye bye. Say bye bye to everyone. You just smile at them cutely. Guess who's coming? Kissy monster! Look, Evangeline! <laughs> Alright. <laughs> That's the thing that she likes. To everyone else that would be creepy, right? If you just like... <laughs> <laughs> but she thinks it's great. <laughs> oh, 
or what's another one? Oh, <laughs> duck face, duck face. This is almost more a baby video than a magic discussion video at this point. <laughs> okay, say bye bye. Oh. <laughs> you are so cute.